Alright, so as you can see, we've had heaps and heaps of rain, like 60 mil um, more coming through. So, can't really do much for a video for this weekend. Um, as you can see, there's some squishy spots out here. Can't have the camera in the rain for too long either, by the way, but look at this. So, I'll be needing to level that next year, so I'll be taking a photo of that soon. Um, and yeah, so I know where to level out this yard next season because that's a low spot there and another low spot over there as well. But anyway, let's this video today. We're going to put down some soil amendments and talk about what you can put out in the rain if you're keen to get something down um, and take advantage of the rain that's here. So, today we're putting down the special mix minus the liquid iron because liquid iron needs to be taken up with the foliage so it's way too wet to put out liquid fertilizers. Unless you've got a liquid fertilizer that can be soil drenched like Fertec Bio here. So, um, man, I'm stuffed up to doing that. So today, special mix in the rain because um, it's supposed to keep raining like this. So, I'm just gonna put this out. Take advantage of this rain. Now, generally I'd put out some granular fertilizer or something like that, but as I showed you guys before, it's nothing wet. So, way too wet to put down some granular fertilizer when you got puddles like that. If you've got some light rain, like say you only got 10 mil, 20 mil coming without heavy showers, um, you should be okay to put out granular fertilizer um, because if you have puddles like that and your prill is gonna get down to your leaf and down below the canopy into the soil, but yeah, no, that's just, that's too much. That'll take a day or two to dry, so not worth it. Because it's just so wet. But yeah, products like um, kelp, liquid kelp, anything that's going to get down to your soil, so soil amendments, not a bad idea to put out when it is raining like this. Like, we're getting heaps of rain, still another 20 mil predicted, and the ground is stopping wet. So, liquid kelp today, um, humic acid, that stimuliser, which is fibric acid, which technically is supposed to go in through the leaf, but... I'm gonna put it down anyway. Um, <laughs> and then the Furtech Bio as well. So the Furtech Bio, as I've said to you guys, is great to help promote growth. So I'm trying to push a little bit more growth on this leading into winter. Um, generally, I was thinking about putting um, Phosphider out today, which has got some potassium and some phosphorus in it, which is great to put down this time of year because, um, you know, K or potassium is gonna help strengthen up your root system like awesome low luck. It's leading into winter. Highly recommend you do that. You can do that through a granular fert app or a liquid fert app. Um, so I might put that out in the coming days. I'm um, just to harden up this lawn before winter hits but it's just too wet to put it out and it needs to sit on the leaf for a while. I could, if we had a break in the rain and no paddles like that, I probably could have done it. Look at this little turd. You're a big boy. You're the one that's pooing everywhere. Get out. Done, wet as, um, but <laughs> I'm cold, man. It's freezing in orange now. It's supposed to get like snow on Friday. What the crap? Right, so that's all done. So this rain should be good for it. Probably not ideal when you got puddles like that, but I just want to get something out. Take advantage of this rain. Um, man, that stuff stinks. So bad that bio, but it works so well. Um, I didn't give you guys a proper review on that stuff, but when I was using it on the green, it really did start to push some growth um, in a few areas. I um, have to do a more full-on video about it and explain exactly how it works, all the chemicals that are in it. Not chemicals, the... Um, I don't know what the word is anyway, but everything that is in there, um, how it all works, and why it's a great product as well. So it's basically a plant growth regulator, but it's going to push growth, not stop growth. So it's going to promote growth. Um, but here is the green um, with that mat. Now tell you what, we had rain last night so heavy that like I couldn't even hear myself think when I was asleep. It was about two o'clock in the morning um, and you can probably tell by the puddles in the backyard that means we had pretty heavy rain. Um, but it's going pretty well. No wash, 
whatsoever. Got a paddle just here where there is a low, low spot. You can see there's a bit of a paddle there. And yeah, there's a bit of a paddle there as well, which is not ideal. But the rest of the green's pretty good. Obviously, there's a bit of a dip there. Um, and I'll tell you what, there's germination under that heat mat. A lot more germination than there is actually. Oh, yes. A bit of the. No, are you serious? <laughs> Some of the cooch is coming back there as well, the tip tough, but in all seriousness, it's holding a bit more heat in there so there's a bit more colour. <laughs> just here, look at that, look at that colour. A dirty wormy. Oh yep, germination just there. Sweet. Alright. So this should really start to kick along really soon. I'll get the cover back on before it floods in there, but yeah. Right, I'm going to have to wrap this video up in a second because this camera's getting soaked. And that's not ideal. Um, but let me just show you some germination down the bottom here. I'll just get some close-ups for you, but it's starting to really germinate in this section here because it's full of rye grass, so the rye is coming up first. Um, generally rye, three to five days, can be up to seven depending on your soil temps. And bent grass is usually close to about seven to 10 days, so a little bit longer. So it's been, since I over this, been exactly seven. So that's where we saw a tiny bit of bent coming up in there, but I can't get that on camera, but you can see a little bit coming up throughout this area here, so it's gonna be awesome. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Sorry today's video was a little bit different. Can't do much when it's raining like this. It's good though, really good to see us getting some rain like this in Orange. Haven't had this much rain in this shorter period of time in, oh man, I'll tell you what, be over a year, maybe even two. Um, so it's awesome. Grass is loving it. Grass is a little bit hungry. You can see it's a little bit yellow looking across the board. Um, it's ready for a feed um, with a granular fur, like I've been telling you guys, it's overdue actually. So. Once the rain clears and we have a couple of days of sunshine, I'll put some inoculate complete down. But anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I mean, I'll see you guys on Wednesday's vid. Freezing today. Three degrees is the top. Potential snow. I don't think it's going to, but it's potential snow. Um, but that Fertec Bio greened up the yard, 100%. Walked out this morning, I was like, flip. Like it really has made a difference to the lawn. Um, it's always hard to see on camera, but it's just got this, I don't know. It's like the leaf is just, this looks a little bit healthier. Um, anyway, still moist as we've got another 20 mil overnight. So that's 70, nearly 80 mil all up, which is awesome. So good. Um, now I just want to quickly show you guys that there's some more germination on this area over here and then we'll wrap the video up. But oh, I wish you could see it on camera. It's not easy. A little bit's in there. If you look real closely, you can see heaps of little um, purpley shoots everywhere. That's the ryegrass coming up, so it's everywhere, it is thick. I went pretty heavy handed <laughs> on this over so, um, just because it is a bit cooler, so I wanted to make sure it did germinate, like flip, today's top is three degrees, so we are cooling off a lot. It's a bit of a cold snap, so it will get warmer, but yeah, we've got germination. And the good thing about this cooch, it being held in the tiff tuff or the cooch, is I think it's actually retaining a bit more heat as well. Um, and it really, like, we got no wash after heavy rain, so it's awesome. You know what's funny? How green it is under there because of the heat mat. So much green under there. Um, oh yep, there's a bit of, yes. There's some bent coming up. Awesome. Don't know how well you guys can see this. It honestly is quite hard to see, but there's some bent coming up. Good sign. And there's a lot more germination through here. Um, and some weeds popping through as well, as you can see. So heat mat's working. Anyway, wrap it up there and I'll see you guys next time.